seven foundry two belt build. Five by five in five. A little update over here. I've decided to pull back on continuing the build of the 5x5 tower in these 5x5 in 5 videos. Everyone has their unique approach to the 5x5, so for now on, expect builds that can act as templates based around fitting machines and logistics within a 5x5 space. I hope you can learn a few tricks that you can apply to your own 5x5. Hey, and uh, don't forget, I stream live on Twitch, Tuesday through Friday. I've met so many cool people there who've checked out my YouTube, and I'd love to meet you there. Let's begin. Place your walls. I like to place two regular walls for my base, making sure to have a space for the double conveyor wall and gate wall. Place glass on top of that. The glass gives a nice amount of light inside the structure and breaks up the monotony of the regular walls. Place your foundries. Make sure the center of your foundry is placed in the center between two foundations with the output facing the wall. Now place three glass foundations, making sure the orientation of the foundations are correct. Then add some walkways to the edges of the glass. Place one meter foundation below the glass on the floor, then delete the seventh odd foundry. Don't worry, you'll be placing this back here soon enough. Place conveyor splitters on the first entrance of the foundries on this now one meter elevated surface. Place conveyor poles on the opposite side of the foundation. This will allow the belts to travel over one another. Delete the one meter foundations you added to the floor, then drop the splitters for the other side input. Belt everything with the appropriate belt. I'm belting with the max speed belt here that you may or may not have at this point in the game. Don't worry, you'll get it eventually and you'll be glad you did all this work. As you progress through the game, you can come back to this setup and upgrade the belts. I'm using this build for my copper aloe ingots, one of my favorite alternative recipes. Oh, by the way, you can find that video here. For the roof, you'll begin by placing one meter down corner ramps here and here. Do the same on the opposite side. Then place one meter inverted ramps between the corner ramps. Place metal walls on the edges of the ramps. One meter foundation above that. Make sure the orientation of the foundation is correct. Add open walkways to the edge of the foundation and finish with adding walls to the sides. Drop a double conveyor belt wall here, or maybe a single wall here. It all depends on your input and output. This build is customizable for you. Place appropriate lifts on the output of the foundries. For the seventh foundry, you'll need to add conveyor support into the wall like earlier videos in this series. Then add another lift to the seventh foundry. I'm adding a splitter to this foundry so it can evenly divide itself amongst the two sides. Now add mergers to take care of the rest of the lifts. You can add these mergers however you want or maybe have more lines. It's all up to you, but this is how I did mine. Using appropriate belt speeds, belt between the mergers and the lifts. Once again, you can do this as you see fit. I know you don't need that eighth merger, but this is going to be hidden anyways, and I like the sharp turns that the mergers provide. The final step here is power. As shown before in this series, I like to remove the tile right below the machine and drag a wire into the center of that tile. It's a great way to hide the power. Bring all the power to a single connection so you can easily connect this building to your grid. Replace the foundations you remove. Add some walkways and ramps to the glass foundation. Drop some ladders in so you can easily climb to the top. Profit.